my friends. It's Sleepy, and we're in 1325 at Joseph Turner's Farm. And we're starting off here today because I haven't been here in so long. But today is Rebecca's birthday, and I'm very excited. So let's wake her up. <laughs> Joseph's eldest child now having her teen birthday. I'll let her have some breakfast. She's so stinking cute. Uh, she's a squeamish uh, sim, so everything bothers her. <laughs> Joseph and Tabitha still asleep this morning. Hmm. I don't think that makes much sense. I imagine we have work to do. Oh, Tabitha has high blood pressure. I forgot. Reggie? Reggie needs the doctor? Mm hmm. Rosalind looks crazy. Joseph and his daughters. <laughs> his children from Shanna. To age up as a teen, Rebecca cannot roll a seven. <laughs> Rebecca ages up to a teen. OMG. All right, we have squeamish and a romantic. OK, that's fun. Generic, generic. I don't know what she wants. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the sad eye. <laughs> Let's get her sorted. <laughs> that hair texture is all off. Whenever I get loaded back into this house <laughs> from doing something, the infants and the parents are always swapped. Apparently, Tabitha's tending to Raven right now. Tabitha feels romantic. Interesting. Joseph and Tabitha have been married for like five years. There's still only Reggie, so not a love, not a lot of love there. Now, let's see Rebecca. Oh, wait. She doesn't have the makeup on and stuff yet. Here we go. There she is. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I feel like her face will permanently be like this because the house is always disgusting to her. <laughs> Our first teen over here. I'm so excited. Rosalind is two and a half years younger for it's her turn. And I can't wait to see her as a teen because she is a beautiful child. Actually, both girls are very beautiful. <laughs> oh, we have to think up like what will <laughs> Rebecca's life be like Reggie I think he's stuck oh you can see I totally slacked in this household getting all their outfits fixed uh maybe I'll commit some time to that soon I have to be careful with this household because I have nine sims in here and I can't enter cast and modify household like I normally would what are you two up to Seemingly nothing. Sometimes you can't tell the autonomy's going. Anne has anemia still. Oh. Oh yeah, Reggie needed the doctor. Why is no one doing anything? Miles, why'd you bring Raven out here like that? Oh, look at her staring at something. I don't think it's him. Let me get him dressed. Miles, you keep looking like you're doing nothing. You're boring me, bro. Just getting everyone out of their PJs again. Well, Anne and Miles have been fine. Miles is acting like uh, the perfect husband lately. Oh, well, let me send Reggie off. Is, oh, he's not coming down with anything anymore. Fine. Is Rebecca? She is. I'm going to send her. It's probably something silly. Ugh, I'm sick of my Sims standing around. I think uh, it's just because I need to update. Information purposes, y'all. Let me make sure my autonomy's on it. My game's feeling dull. Ugh, I'll update my game after this, you guys. I'm glad everyone's getting out their winter wear for a change. Aw, oh, family stuff. Oh, Rebecca also has anemia. Alright, let it be. We can we can deal with that. Hmm. It's weird to me that the 
always has been merchant family has all this anemia Tabitha's super flirty but I don't think like her and Joseph are like in love I'm telling you it's the village here they all just take care of each other's children it's so cute oh, and struggling back there oh her anemia is kicking today what is this oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that is not hazel stop it i'm glad i checked to see who it was before i destroyed them <laughs> oh my gosh this bikini it's from a different state she she's from a different save file i guess hazel's stopping by to chat with friends maybe hazel stopped by for one of tabitha's potions oh look what i spied are they working on their romance? What was that? Oh, they have a baby amount. So cute. Let's get to the next day because it's Raven's birthday. Oh, Constance has gone into labor. Let's go over there and join the surprise. Where's my Constance? Oh. Oh, hey, darling. Let's do it. Why is Tompkin awake? It's just as well. She's going to be having a riot. Here we go. Baby number three. I want another girl. It's a girl, yes. John and Connie seem to be naming babies after people in John's family who are no longer here. In honor of Eleanor, Mary Thomas's first daughter that died before I started recording my series. Her name was Eleanor. Um, so they're going to name this baby girl Ellen. Oh, no. <laughs> No! <laughs> Twins! Unexpectedly! And another girl! Well, we have Ellen. How, how about Nora? Eleanor. Eleonora. <laughs> oh my gosh. Twins again. It's in the family, y'all. Oh. Where's the other crib? I'm scared. Out with the horses! <laughs> Wait, let me organize the babies real quick. I can't believe it. Let's see. This is Nora and the lighter basket and Ellen. All right, let's do all of these roles. And this time, um, Connie had a pretty uncomplicated pregnancy despite having twins. I don't think it was too early. I've actually been playing a little faster lately. We're already... Um, nearing halfway through 1325. Let's do the rolls. All right. Uh, for Connie, giving birth to Ellen, she cannot roll a 1 or a 10. Just made it. Ellen cannot roll a 1, 5, 10, 15, or 20. All right. <sighs> for birthing Nora, Connie cannot roll a 1 or a 10. And Nora cannot roll 1, 5, 10, 15, or 20. Yes! Yes! Both girls survive childbirth. All three girls. <laughs> now we will roll for the infant stage. Ellen cannot roll 4, 12, 16, or 18. Yes! Ellen's good. Nora cannot roll... 4, 12, 16, 18. <sighs> Dang it. No. I'm not getting twins. Oh, it's not meant to be once again. Little Nora's not gonna make it to infancy. I will just leave both newborns here uh, for now. For everyone to enjoy. John, come meet them. Because um, off camera, I will do my thing with Nora. 
I mean, twins is higher risk. There's a chance that, like, one of the babies was smaller and weaker. Nora was born second, so maybe she's twin B and, you know, the smaller baby of the two, and it was a failure to thrive. Uh, it could be that. Oh, that's sad. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to Age Up Raven. Oh my god. <laughs> Rebecca's here. Tabitha's here. Raven. Okay. We get it. Let's get this over with. There we go. It always happens while they're on top of her. I <laughs> and once again, we didn't get a treat to roll. So let me make her over and then we will do her roll. Oh, it says here it gave her the wild trait. So I ran into a hiccup. I couldn't um, exit create a sim and I'm not sure why. So we'll just do her roll. She cannot roll a four or an eight. Excellent. She rolled a five. Raven gets to be a toddler and I will fix her up the next time my game's updated. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Uh, I think before I end the day, let me just check on my air. Oh. Two things happened at once just now. I remembered I did not fix our ranch hand. And William's efforts worked. <laughs> Edith is pregnant again and she's mad about it again. Oh, Edith, honey. <laughs> I don't mean for you to be so sad. Oh, no. I She's a reluctant, a very reluctant mother I, you know i think it's just i can't stand him either i think edith just has a hard time at the baby stage i don't think it's that she wants no children i think it's just that newborn and to toddler stage is just really stressful and anxiety producing maybe she has like postpartum anxiety i mean with all those losses you know i could see that leaving its mark <laughs> elizabeth oh we need to deal with elizabeth it's about time for her to um have her life experiences <laughs> she's so beautiful i cannot wait i think uh probably two episodes from now it depends my next episode has like three major birthdays so Maybe not next week, but the week after we'll have an uh, Elizabeth episode. I'm afraid to try to fix the ranch hand with the way my game's acting. See, I feel like Edith's fine once they're bigger and sturdier. <laughs> the Grimm's here for a fox. Don't mind him. You know what? I want to actually attend to that. So honestly, I didn't have anything else I want to do here right this minute. Gosh, I love that it's spring again. It's beautiful. I'm going to end the episode right here, folks. I've actually been recording for quite a bit, even though nothing too crazy happened except the birth of twins. I think this is something we'll see repeated through the generations. <laughs> and I'm so sad that we once again have twin girls and we lose one of the girls. Next week, um, Hawthorne will be aging up to a toddler. And Marjorie and Magdalene will be aging up to young adults. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.